Hello, my name is Dr. Gerard Toll, and I want to welcome you to Discourse Analysis, which is GIA, or Political Science, or UAP 5504, in the School of Public and International Affairs at Virginia Tech. Um, I want to tell you a little bit about the course as I put it together in the fall of 2017. Now, um, I've been teaching this class for over... Uh, a decade, probably two decades uh, now, and um, it has gone on under quite a bit of uh, uh, reorganization over those uh, decades. Um, now, this is the syllabus, and I want you to read the syllabus very carefully um, so that you understand uh, what I mean by discourse analysis and that you understand what type of class this is. Um, it is not a methods class per se, it is a theory and methods class. It's a, a class which is more about the kind of theoretical literature that is inspiring um, one very important qualitative research uh, method or sets of methods within, uh, within contemporary social science. Um, this is in a completely online class. Um, and it's organized around five different uh, assignments. Uh, there are, as you will see, a series of um, audio lectures, which I've recorded down the years, as well as in more recent years, uh, some video lectures. Um, so let's talk, first of all, about the readings. So um, the reading um, load in this class is approximately one book per week, or about five articles, five significant articles. So it's a standard reading load for a graduate class. Um, because we're not meeting in person, you have those extra three hours, which you can devote to uh, reading and uh, listening to lectures online. Um, and um, I... I think it's very important that at the outset, people be very clear that I expect students to do all the reading, uh, not just some of it. Uh, and I expect your assignments to reflect that you have done all of the reading. Um, so the course uh, texts which are required for purchase are uh, Sarah Mill's book, Discourse, uh, which is... Um, a uh, second edition book, uh, which was published in 2004. A newer book, Kevin Dunn and Ivor Newman's book, Undertaking Discourse Analysis for, for Social Research. Um, this is not as good uh, as um, Mills' book, uh, but it is useful. Um, uh, but it is quite introductory. Um, then Margaret Wetherell et al.'s book, Discourse Theory and Practice, a reader from 2004, which has got a series of very, very useful readings, but we're not going to read all of the uh, um, essays that are in that reader. Um, then Wetherell's uh, amazingly uh, good but challenging book, Affect and Emotion, A New Social Science Understanding. This will probably be the most difficult book that you will read in the course, but it is one that is very rich and uh, provides you with a good advanced introduction to uh, a very rich um, tradition now within discourse analysis, a sub-tradition which addresses affect and emotion. Ronald Krebs's book, uh, which came out uh, two years ago, uh, he's a political scientist. Uh, this book is one that uh, has some really useful part, useful chapters in it, but we're not going to read it all. Uh, we're not going to read the central section on uh, the Cold War consensus. Um, it also, as a political science book, has some limitations, and uh, my lecture discusses that. Valerie Sperling's book, um, uh, Sex, Politics and Putin, is a, um, it deals with one aspect of the a module which deals with uh, gender and gendered politics. Um, that is uh, a book which is more supplemental than central in the others, as is Todd uh, Hall's. And what I may mean by supplemental, it's illustrative. Krebs, Sperling and Hall are illustrative of a, a particular type of 
discourse analysis, discourse and qualitative method and research uh, on these uh, uh, on uh, questions uh, concerning um, how one thinks about uh, meaning in the uh, arena of international affairs. Uh, and as such, uh, especially if you are in, in the School of Public International Affairs, this is something these texts are very, very useful. Um, but the theory behind them is really what is central to this course. Uh, so the the course is about the theory rather than the uh, substantive area that these uh, these texts are examining. So this is not a class on on U.S. foreign policy or on protests in Russia or uh, on uh, the ways in which um, um, emotion uh, plays itself out in international affairs. Rather, it's about discourse analysis. Um, so the uh, course grade is determined by five written assignments uh, and they comprise 20% of your grade. Um, one of the things that is, I think, very important to grasp is, first of all, that there's an, a limit, a word limit on the assignment. That word limit is there in order to encourage you to write in a clutter-free, analytical way. You, if you, you may need to get used to how I want these assignments written, but um, you need to get used to it pretty quickly. And you need to understand that I have very little tolerance for people who go over the limit, which is uh, something which is, uh, I see, strict. Um, and also, you uh, need to be aware that I'm, I'm asking you to indicate the word length at the top of the assignment. And if your assignment is not between 1450 and 1500, uh, words that indicates to me that uh, you are not um, hitting the particular uh, area that you need to. If it's under fourteen hundred words, you're not saying enough uh, in the class in the assignment. Uh, so I, that is a key indication to me from the outset as to how serious you uh, were about the composition of the assignment. Um, it is a, something that has been, I've worked out over the last two decades. It works very, very well. There is a formula to writing this, but it, uh, these assignments, but that formula is one which encourages clear, concise, analytical writing. I have no time for these kind of woolly general statements uh, or English essay style. Uh, compositions. Uh, you need to read very clearly, and I lay it out very clearly in the syllabus, um, how those assignments uh, are to be written. So um, I will give you feedback uh, on them from the outset, uh, and I will uh, indicate to you as to from the grade as to how you're doing and then the things that you need to do in order to improve. Uh, so that's part of the uh, the process in the class. That's the value that a lot of students in the past get out of it, is that it forces them to write better or write in a more professional manner. Um, and um, then we have a discussion feature in Canvas. Um, I have, over the years, went back and forth as to whether to have this uh, graded or not. I uh, have decided that it is not something that's going to be graded. Uh, you do not have, it's not mandatory that you participate. Um, assignments are everything in this class. Uh, and um, so the discussion uh, threads are to help you all uh, work out amongst yourselves some of the issues. I will read uh, these and I will intervene on occasion when I believe that there is some misunderstanding uh, about the readings and so on and so forth. But uh, it's really a resource for you uh, to communicate with each other. Um, and the discussion can be informal, but it, it nevertheless has to be serious, respectful and focused on the readings. And people need to have done the readings in order to participate in that. Okay, so the different modules. We will begin by looking at uh, the foundational uh, thinkers and traditions, and these are only some of the uh, kind of influential thinkers and traditions that inform contemporary 
um, social science uh, discourse analysis or the domain of discourse analysis writ large. Um, so there are a series of audio lectures uh, on this uh, on this particular theme, and then we're drawing upon readings. Um, and I, in some instances, I have uh, copied uh, chapters from uh, Wetherell's book, uh, Discourse Theory and Practice. But you really need to pick up a copy of that book yourselves. Um, now, Howarth's book, uh, which is out of print, uh, I have provided various uh, chapters. It's a fabulous book. But it's very dense and challenging, uh, and uh, so you need to realize that that is uh, a book which uh, is very important to the course, even though it's not in the required uh, readings. Um, and it is uh, an indication of the kind of level of uh, theoretical engagement that I want to encourage in the uh, course. Okay. So the first assignment due um, the 15th of September 2017 at 9 a.m. My general uh, principle on getting assignments back to you is I like to get them back to you uh, within a week, um, often a lot less than that. Um, it depends on how many uh, students are in the class and it, de it depends on the particular uh, workload that is in front of me. But I would expect by uh, Wednesday of the following week that you would have your assignments returned to you with uh, feedback on them. Okay, the second uh, module deals with uh, Marxism and Foucault uh, as uh, concept generators uh, for um, contemporary social science um, on discourse analysis. Um, there is four. There are four lectures on uh, Mark the Marxist tradition. And there are two on Foucault, um, and there's a series of different readings which deal with uh, these very important traditions. Uh, there are, there's now Foucaultian studies, uh, which is a very large uh, tradition, and Foucault has been an extremely influential uh, figure in um, in social science, contemporary social science. Um, then we are moving on to a uh, narrative, uh, in particular geopolitical narrative. Uh, we will um, address the uh, sets of issues that uh, come up when we discuss narrative um, with the lecture Discourse, Identity and Power, which deals with Wetherill and some of the uh, chapters in Wetherill. Wetherill's book is, uh, she's a dis discursive social psychologist and so um, she's coming at it from that particular perspective. Then I'm going to give you some of the uh, work that I did uh, early on in, in helping establish critical geopolitics. And then we're going to look at uh, political science and some things that political science is, is, is doing by, by using Krebs' book uh, to um, look at how narrative is being applied to the analysis of uh, national security. So there's a series of different readings here. Uh, which are associated with this module. Plan ahead, uh, you know, assume that this is, uh, you know, this is a kind of standard graduate class uh, and there's uh, that uh, with good planning, you will be able to get through all of these readings and be able to uh, compose um, um, a well-organized uh, assignment to address the, the question. Uh, the fourth one deals with gendered uh, political discourses, images, and practices. And so, again, you have a general, uh, uh, actually two general lectures. One, uh, Discourse, Identity, and Power Two, which uh, it deals with some of the um, essays that are in Wetherall and it deals with more general themes. Then, uh, a, a general essay on the theoretical uh, analysis of gender discourses, images, and practices, the theoretical foundations of that in sociology uh, and, uh, and elsewhere before looking at two case studies, the, the US case and then the, the Russian case. And that's where Valerie Sperling's book is, uh, is, is useful. Um, the last uh, assignment, uh, the last module is new, uh, Affect and Emotion. Um, and it is challenging, uh, but I think you will find it very, very interesting because 
it will open up to you a whole new domain of um, research if you're not familiar with it uh, already in uh, in uh, contemporary social science uh, this is an extremely big uh, uh, area of research now uh, within social science and so i would expect that you would have already encountered some of it in in your graduate program so we're going to read a series of uh, uh, of essays uh, from Wetherill. We're not reading them all uh, from her for book from her book, and I have uh, recorded uh, lectures on each one of these chapters. Then you're going to read Hall's book as an example uh, of the of affect and emotion, and then I'm going to uh, um, discuss um, contemporary debates uh, in international relations about affect and emotions and some of that particular literature with you. Um, so that's the course. Uh, five assignments. Um, the uh, way in which we will communicate is uh, online in the uh, course website, um, uh, not through email. Um, and um, I will endeavor to give you a clear and positive feedback on your assignments. Um, if there are certain issues uh, with the course uh, website, uh, the Canvas website, which has uh, its peculiarities, uh, and there are still some kind of glitches, and I'm still uh, learning my way through some of the more esoteric features of Canvas. Um, so if there are certain issues, of course, email me and let me know uh, so I can uh, look into that and try to fix those right away. Uh, but um, overall, I look forward to this course. Uh, I think that this is a, um, a very um, challenging uh, class, one which blends together the sort of traditional classic things that you need to know uh, about discourse analysis, some of the real uh, foundational pillars of uh, uh, thinking about discourse analysis, with uh, contemporary research, very exciting uh, domains of contemporary research. Um, I will um, ask that you please uh, introduce yourself using the class introduction um, um, topic under discussions in the uh, course uh, so that you can uh, become familiar with uh, the backgrounds of all of those that are in the class. Uh, so uh, um, good luck in this course and um, I wish you all the very best and I look forward to reading your work.